Today is another beautiful day and I just want you all to know that this place is family and this place is home. So just feel free, feel at home and let's do the cooking together. Guys, I am your girl Chenazi's Twist and we are here with another episode of The Twist. Um, so let's get started. We shall be preparing the yellow Ugandan beans, but the Cameroonian style. Because as you know, Ugandans have a different way of cooking their beans. Now, the first thing you want to do with your beans is do the selection. You need to select the best seeds from the, or the best grains from uh, the bad grains. You need to select the good grains from the bad grains. So you can see this is the dirt that came out of my beans. Sometimes you have tiny stones, um, dried leaves and, and, and sorts or very old um, grains of beans. Now we go straight to washing our beans. Do this process um, repeatedly. You can wash your beans, um, wash and rinse about three or four times. Now, again, you can also um, soak your beans for about three or four, three to four hours before boiling. It helps to reduce the boiling time and makes cooking faster. But I didn't have that time, so I'll just go straight ahead to um, put my beans on fire. So once you force your beans, put it in a clean pot and make sure you your water covers the beans completely. Now, once uh, you've done that, just go ahead and put your beans on fire. Um, put it on high heat. Once it starts boiling, then you can reduce the heat to medium or low heat. The temperature remains the same and the cooking process continues. Our beans has been cooking for about 45 minutes. So now it's time to double check if it's ready. You can, how to know, you can see that the beans are cracked. That's another way to know that your beans is ready or you can use your fingers to crush it just like I'm doing. That's another way of knowing that your beans is ready. One thing I also noticed was that um, the Ugandan beans cooks faster compared to the Cameroon beans. Our beans is a bit harder compared to the Ugandan yellow beans. So once our beans is ready, um, um, just rinse it with cold running water. Then go ahead and use a strainer to strain your beans. Now, let's see what we need for this sumptuous meal. We need some ripe plantain. I got just two fingers of ripe plantain. Yeah. And then um, our homemade tomato paste. I'm going to make a video to show you how I do prepare my homemade tomato paste. Um, I We have our um, homemade green seasoning. I have a video already on this. Then we've got the medium sized onions and our leeks. I won't be using all of that, I'm just gonna use like half of it. Then we've got some garlic, um, two habanero peppers, and ginger. Ginger is one of the ingredients you don't wanna miss in your beans. Trust me, do not miss that ingredient. It gives an extra, extra flavor and taste. Then we've got our already boiled beans. So yeah, let the cooking begin. So we go straight ahead and blend our garlic, ginger and the rest. And then I forgot to mention that we shall be using some um, dried crayfish, um, some cooking oil, table oil and some palm oil. I'm going to mix both of them. So yeah. Now in a clean pot, let's go ahead and add about half a cup of palm oil once the oil is hot then we'll go ahead and add in our cooking oil table oil or vegetable oil mm. our vegetable oil so you know that your oil is hot do not bleach the oil but just let it get hot once you see the foam appearing on top like so then you go ahead and add in your vegetable oil so now it's time to go in with our vegetable oil let's take another half um, cup of vegetable oil 
Now our oil is hot, so we're going with some salt. I'm using the pink Himalaya salt. Once you've added your salt, you go in with your onions. Um, stir fry your onions until they are translucent. Then you go in with your legs. Once you've added your legs, stir fry for about two minutes or so. Then you go straight to adding your um, brown ginger and garlic plus your green seasoning. Now we won't be putting all the ginger at once. We we'll keep some for later use. Once you've added this, give it a good mix as well. And then go in with your um, homemade tomato paste. You can use um, any tomato paste of your choice, but I prefer my homemade. So give it a good stir, a good mix, and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Once it has uh, cooked and it looks like so, then you go straight up and add in your um, crayfish. We add enough crayfish and stir fry for a few more minutes, like one minute or two, and then we go in with our beans. Now here we are adding in our beans. Give it a gentle and beautiful mix, making sure that everything is mixed together beautifully now once you've noticed that everything is beautifully mixed go ahead and add in some water now i used some water to rinse my um my bowl where i had my green seasoning because i don't want to waste anything rinse it up and pour it in your pot of beans once you've added your water you cover this pot and let it simmer for about 20 minutes on low heat, medium to low heat. So because we want all the spices and ingredients to blend together, add enough quantity of water, and then cover it. And this is what you have after about 10 to 15 minutes of simmering. My goodness, you don't want to imagine the aroma that is in my kitchen. Yes, you don't just want to imagine. At this point, we are almost there. Go ahead and add in one quarter teaspoon of thyme. Give it a good mix. Um, taste and adjust the seasoning if need be. Now, at the end of it, when you're almost at the end, add in the leftover garlic and ginger. Like I told you earlier, we kept part of it aside for later use. So this is the time we add this. Add the leftover garlic and ginger when you're almost done with the cooking. You will thank me later for this twist. Yeah? So, once you've added this, cover it and let it simmer again for about 8 minutes. So guys, this is what our pot of bean stew looks like. Aren't you guys salivating already? So you can go ahead and add in some seasoning cubes if you do consume seasoning cubes. Give it a taste and adjust if need be. But as for me, I am walking away from seasoning cubes. I am walking away. So you can join me. Let's walk away together. Yeah. So now our base is ready. It's time to prep our complement. And as we all know, today our complement will be some fried dodo. You can also uh, steam this plantain if you like. You can roast them and use them as well to enjoy the beans. But today we are doing the fried plantain or you can call them dodo. So I already washed my plantain off camera. So we'll just go ahead and peel our plantain and go straight to frying. But while we are peeling the plantain, our oil is already heating on fire. So yeah. And let me remind you guys, this right here are plantains and not bananas. They are not bananas, guys. They are not bananas. I'll have to show you the difference someday soon. So in our hot oil, let's go straight ahead and introduce our plantain. I like to slice mine directly in, in um, the oil. 
you can as well slice them in a plate i'll show you that next time you can as well slice them in a plate and just introduce them into your oil straight away so once your plantains are golden brown like this then they're ready always make sure that your heat is medium to low heat if your heat is too high if you fry on high heat then your plantain will look golden brown from the outside but raw from the inside yeah your plantain will be cooked from the outside but very raw from the inside so your temperature matters the temperature matters so guys let's serve this and say bon appetit to each and every one of us but i also forgot to mention that this meal right here can be eaten throughout the day like you can choose to have it for breakfast which would be a heavy breakfast you can choose to have it for lunch or dinner um yeah so this is how you know that your plantain is properly cooked if your plantains are not properly fried um the inside will be pinkish not yellowish the inside will look pinkish just like the raw plantain so yeah our plantains are beautifully fried our beans beautifully stewed and uh, i just want to say thank you guys for watching and know that i love you guys so much just so much so guys today what i want us to take home is about friendship make sure you know who your friends really are because some of them have got calls that you don't want you don't even want to experience their scratch for one minute because they are really really poisonous make sure you choose the right people thank you so much bye